All right, so I'm gonna hand you this first one. Okay. In fact, you know what? Just um, just open up, just say ah, uh, and I got uh -huh. you. Here we go. So this is one of my favorite meals from Snap Kitchen. It's a ready-made meal service company. It's this bison quinoa hash, really tasty. But I spent over 12 bucks on it. It just dawned on me that this is something that I could probably make myself for half the cost, less than half the cost. Because I was not prepared today, that's why I had to buy it. So I'm already seeing some green bell peppers, some red bell peppers. These are definitely kidney beans. Rainbow quinoa, I know that. And brown rice. It smells a lot like chili. And I know it's bison because they named it. God, I love this one. This is super high in protein. And it's high in protein because you've got the bison, plus you've got the kidney beans and the quinoa. And it tastes a lot like, ooh, there's some heat in there. So it's definitely, I think it's definitely chili powder. Cause chili powder is kind of spicy because the cayenne. Wait, hold on. What does it say? It says a long time customer favorite. This hearty and filling dish is made with Organic greens, bison, topped with cheddar. That topped with cheddar is very generous. It was like, <laughs> it's like a teaspoon of cheddar on top. <laughs> bison and kidney beans, boom, boom. Yellow onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, red onion, smoked paprika, cayenne, black pepper, cumin. So those are the ingredients for chili powder. So I technically I wasn't all the way wrong. And quinoa, rice, cheddar cheese. This is gonna be so easy to recreate. And, and how much did I spend for this? This is $12.45. Only because the bison is a little bit pricier, you know, but it's cheaper here in Texas, but I know that you can get it for around $8 a pound, less than that. And then the quinoa. Those are the two pricey ones for this meal, but I think I can get the ingredients for less than 25 bucks and do five servings. It's a little bit over six dollars uh, per serving, about six twenty-five. This is taste it and make it copycat recipe, Snap Kitchen Bison Quinoa Hash. Let's go. All right, so I've got all the ingredients out here. Most of this stuff I already had it in my pantry. I had to go out and buy some of the bison, but all the spices. And then I went and bought a red bell pepper. I added in some hatch chilies instead of the green bell pepper. I thought it'd be a little bit better in terms of flavor. Got the kidney beans, and then I realized they had a mix of both the brown rice and quinoa, so I whipped up both. All right, first thing we're gonna do is fire up our skillet, put it on some medium high heat, and add in a little bit of olive oil. Now, gonna add in some garlic and some onion. Now they had some yellow onion, I've got some white onion here, and they also had some red onion. And then I'm also gonna add in right now the bell pepper. I'm gonna saute the onions here. Just gonna basically take out some of the bite. And we're gonna keep this going until the onions turn brown and translucent. And we just want everything to get very soft. Next, we're gonna toss in the bison. This is a pretty lean bison, about 95%. There's only 13 grams of fat, so you wanna make sure that it's not a really fatty piece of meat. So I'm gonna chop this up, stuff in the skillet. And as the meat cooks, we're gonna sprinkle in some personality. I've got some smoked paprika here, and I've got a little bit of cumin, and then a little bit of heat with some cayenne. If you wanna just use some chili powder, you can use that too. Continue chopping it all up. Oh, now it's getting super fragrant. The meat's starting to sweat. Okay, we're gonna keep the heat high, and now we're gonna add in some quinoa, a cup and a half of quinoa. I'm gonna do some brown rice. Fold it together, make sure nothing's burning. Uh-oh, it's starting to look like it, right? I think we got a little bit more color on ours though. Add in some kidney beans. And here's why I wanted to add in hitch chilies instead, because this dish, it's really good, but it's also pretty dry. And I think adding in these is gonna add some moisture to it. So a can of green chilies, fold everything together, add in a little bit of sea salt and some pepper, and continue cooking. Continue stirring everything together. And now it's looking a lot like our Snap Kitchen meal, right? But I feel like ours looks a little bit more, you know, looks a little tastier, in my opinion. In less than 15 minutes, we have our delicious bison quinoa hash. Look how much more moist ours is. First off, now I feel bad. I went and spent my money on this, knowing that it would take me less than 15 minutes to cook something up. Now the last bit of work, let's add them to our meal prep containers. I've got these glass ones. If you want to use the black ones, you can. And then a very, 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 tiny pinch of cheese, just like they had in Snap Kitchens. Okay, maybe one more, right there on top. All right, now it's time for the taste test, but I thought 
why don't we have you taste it, Jesse? Okay. But you gotta do it blindfolded. All right, they're both warm, by the way, too, audience. They're both warm. Good, I can. You can see? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just open up, just say ah, uh, and uh. I got you. Here we go. That's the first one, sample one. Okay. Oh my God. Soak it in here. <laughs> it's your palate being cleaned. You gotta just. Mm. Okay. Here okay. we go, ready? <laughs> and there's number two. Okay, you can take your blindfold off. Okay. I really liked number two. That's ours. Yeah? What'd you like about it? The seasoning was like it way, was way fresh, way fuller, way more just like what it needs to be. Was it moist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so in fairness though, because Snap Kitchen is a great brand, so I don't want to make it seem as if we're denigrating the brand, but that happens whenever you have prepackaged meals and ready-made meals. Sometimes the flavor mm -hmm. is lost because they've got to freeze it and they've got to transport it. So we're gonna give them that. The seasoning, the seasoning was on point. We yeah. had a little bit more seasoning <laughs> on ours. We put that, we put a little bit more salt on ours. We believe in that. I ain't gonna no dry food over here, homie. Let me go taste for myself. This is my favorite one that I get over there. Mmm, 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 mmm. What? Snap Kitchen what? Snap Kitchen who? All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. For some of us, our time is really, really important. Grabbing something like this, you are going to really prefer just because it's a quick grab and go, even though it costs you a lot. Others look at it, hey, you know what? How much am I really spending? And also what am I putting into my body? So really the choice is always up to you, but I just hope that one day that you see the, the added benefit of cooking something up in your own kitchen, because first off, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel super accomplished, and you are going to save money. And those three things, for me, they outweigh the grab and go nature of this, but this is still a very viable option if you have to. If you like videos like this, guys, then I invite you to smash the like button below. And also, if you like these taste it and make it or these copycat recipes, let us know and we can do more of them. If you're new, what up, homes? Don't leave without joining our global community. And remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, Never ever boring. Boom! Bye y'all.